gamers? Hey, once again, thanks for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. Today we're going to disable those annoying updates for the PlayStation 4. I had this video lined up. Apologize, I know it's been a long time. Haven't had time to release it. Now we will need Filezilla. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. After you get Filezilla, we connect PlayStation 4 and we will go to system. Before we do anything, we go to automatic downloads and we uncheck all those boxes. It is really important. I know I've repeated it so many times in my videos, but please make sure you select that. Okay, so now we go to network. We're going to set up a network connection. So we select set up internet connection. I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'm going to select custom. Once I select custom, I will select my network. Okay, so we just let it load. Now for the IP address, we select automatic. For the HCP hostname, we do not specify. DNS settings, we're going to select manual. Now primary DNS, we're going to leave it as 165.227.83.145. For secondary DNS, we're going to select 108.61.128.158. This is Al Asif DNS, which is amazing. He's been updating some information within it. MTU settings, we select automatic. Proxy server, do not use. And then we test the internet connection. At this time, it will probably give us that the internet connection is successful. So we'll go ahead and verify that. Okay, so now that we have that information, now we're going to connect via FTP to the PlayStation 4 so that we can remove that update. So we go to user guide, helpful info, then user guide, and then we're going to select 5.05 .05, and you will see we will run HEN. If you don't have it already, then just run it. Every time you reboot the PlayStation 4, then you will need to run it so you can have the exploit. Okay, once it's completed, then we will go to settings again. User guide, helpful info. User guide. And then we're going to select our firmware, which is 5.05 .05, and select FTP. Okay, cool. Once it tells you done, welcome to FTP PS4. Then under the host, it's gonna give us that IP address, so write it down, 192.168.0.15. Yours might be different. And then the port number, and then we connect. Okay, so now we have the access to the internal files for the PlayStation 4. So the only file we're going to target is the update. So, we go ahead and go within it. You guys will see some files in there. So we're going to select everything and delete. Yes, I want those files to be removed. So we delete them. Now we will go to the PlayStation 4 and we will go to settings once more and then user guide helpful info, user guide and then 5.05. .05. And now we're going to select Disable Updates. Okay, so once we select Disable Updates, it's going to run it. And what it will do, it will automatically input a fake file in the update folder of the PlayStation 4. So now you will get the prompt Disabled Updates, which is amazing. It is required. I would highly recommend that you guys do this. We go back to settings, user guide helpful info, user guide, and then we go to 505, and then FTP, we're just, at this moment, we're just verifying to see if something was created in the PlayStation 4. So we run the FTP and we connect once more. If it doesn't show up, then connect and refresh, or you might need to do a new connection. And there you have it, guys. The connection has been set. We go to the update folder 
Now, you might not see anything, but if you don't see anything, then refresh FileZilla, and then those folders will appear. So this will trick the PlayStation 4 that the update is already in the system. So this will avoid anything. You guys can see that inside the folder, there's nothing. It's just a fake folder. And that's basically it. You guys will see that was created on the 11th. Sorry guys, I know this video is kind of late, but it's really important. I just wanted to do this quick video. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.